Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. Today we're back once again with Genshin Impact. So today we're gonna be continuing the very exciting and lore-filled quest, We Will Be Reunited. I've been reading your comments and a lot of you guys are super excited to see my reaction to the end of this quest. Now, Dane has asked us to go over to the cathedral after finding a talisman, if I remember correctly, so we're gonna go and see what they have to say there. But just before we jump into the game, a lot of you guys were telling me in the comments that there is a story trailer about when a in my case, it would have been Lumine if you picked Lumine, sensed something in Storm Terror's lair about how it was something familiar and then we got the flashbacks. So we're going to watch that first. Right, so here we are. Now, before we continue the quest, we're going to watch this trailer and see what happened up on that cliff. Okay. Outlanders do not belong in this world. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing that's the dandelion. One day, this journey will reach its end. Whoa. Okay. And there's, okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But until the abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with destiny will see no end. Your Highness, our plan to recognize the dragon has been impeded. Huh. By the Animo Archon? He rises again for the dragon's sake? No, not the Archon. We were well prepared for his interference. Regrettably, Your Highness, the issue is your brother. Okay. Your journey ends here. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps, man. <laughs> oh! We will be reunited, dear brother. But not here. Not now. We will meet at this journey's end. Once the dust has settled. Then, you will understand. Okay, and that's where the footprints were. Wow! Oh my god, okay. That explained a lot. So that showed how it was, it confirms that it was Lumine that was up on that cliff. Obviously, we saw how the dandelion got trampled. We saw, obviously, how the footprints of the ruin guard got there. It shows that Lumine is watching us like she she could have interfered with us then she could have interacted so she is actively avoiding us right now how interesting okay so we're back into the game now that again as i said confirms that it was our sister that was watching us and that it is who dane has been talking about this entire time so obviously it, we were like 90 percent sure anyway but it's very cool to see that they've made that trailer to let us see it from our siblings perspective so for now let's head up to the cathedral um i think yeah here we go a huge statue a grandiose cathedral the people of Mondstadt clearly spent a great deal of resources and energy to construct them. But how aware of this was the animal Archon on receiving this gift? And how much did he give back in return? Faith doesn't ask for anything in return, though, does it? <laughs> as long as the gods have a clear conscience about it all, there's nothing I can say about it. Okay. Shh, we're about to enter the cathedral. Don't say anything bad about the animal archon. <laughs> well, Barbara will come and after you. Actually, the animal archon is... Ugh, never mind. <laughs> I never specifically said I would enter the cathedral. I'll leave you two to mingle with the sisters. Hmm. Huh? Aren't you curious? You are the honorary knight of Mondstadt. They will surely allow you to poke into these affairs with their utmost trust. Having me tag along would only make them suspicious. Yeah, you don't think you'll be popular among the sisters? Correct. And just as our little friend said, <laughs> I might say something bad about the church at any time. When a non-believer steps onto holy ground, the result is never pretty. 
I have never received the favor of the gods in the past. I don't see any reason I would need it now, or in the future either. Hmm. That's enough about that. While we've been chit-chatting, the Abyss Order continues to act. Okay, then we'll just go in ourselves and ask around. I should warn you about one thing. Don't go mentioning the defiled statue inside the cathedral. Okay. The Church of Favonius wouldn't ignore the matter of the statue. But if they rashly tried anything against the Abyss Order, it would only ruin whatever element of surprise we may have. Alright, that sounds fair. Also, meddling in the affairs of the Abyss usually doesn't end well for anyone. <laughs> fair enough. Okay. Talk to Barbara! Oh my god, I mean, I was half joking about Barbara coming after you, but apparently, <laughs> that's who we've got to go and speak to anyway. Hello, Barbara. Honorary night. Hi, how have you been? I've been good. Did you need anything today? But I should first make it clear that if you need to borrow the Holy Lyre de Hermel again, we cannot oblige. <laughs> it seems she hasn't realized it's just an illusion. It's been an illusion this whole time. Oh, we're here to ask some questions about something. Barbara, have you heard about the first field tiller? Hmm. What's that? Field tiller. What does it do? Uh, of course you wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> okay, next question. Hmm. Has the church ever lost a statue <laughs> of the seven? Huh? You're here to ask about that old story? Oh, okay. Wow, I didn't expect that. That was such a long time ago, barely anyone mentions it nowadays. Hmm. A long time ago, there was indeed one statue of the seven that disappeared one night without a trace. Nearly every member of the church joined the search for it, but it was never found. In the church's records, as you might assume, this incident has been called the Lost Statue of the Seven. Yep, very descriptive. That of course! Gets to the point. <laughs> of course. Uh, nothing? So do you have any other clues? Uh, uh, behind the scenes? <laughs> uh, strange stories? <laughs> oh my word. We saw it just yet. Like things said outside, it's for your own good. Mm. Other strange stories? I'm not sure. Let me think about what other unusual incidents are in the church's records. Mm. Oh, the tyrant's final fury? Mm, no, that's from another time. Probably unrelated. Mm -hmm. The tyrant's final fury? Oh, this refers to a time of great danger that engulfed old Mondstadt. The place now known as Storm Terrace Lair. Oh. Many, many years ago, there was a time when balls of fire would rain from the sky whenever anyone approached Old Mondstadt. Balls of fire raining from the sky? How terrifying! People at that time believed it was a curse laid down by the god of storms, so they referred to it as the tyrant's final fury. This strange phenomenon continued for about a year. No one was ever able to solve it. It just gradually ceased on its own. How weird. Yeah, so bizarre. Right. Later, the theory of the tyrant's final theory became less probable in the eyes of the church. Common reasoning dictates that the god of storms wouldn't shoot fireballs. Hmm. Perhaps it was something else that caused the disaster. Wasn't there a... Anyway, hmm. this hmm. incident might not be related to the lost statue of the seven, but I just can't think of any other strange incidents that might be. It's okay. Thanks, Annie. Thanks, Thanks, Barbara. Pointless word. Thank you again. <gasps> I can never get used to hearing it. Oh, Rosaria. It's Rosaria! If you're looking for the Knights of Favonius, they're busy with those monsters again. Uh, those monsters? Huh? Those monsters that tried to attack Mondstadt last time during the Storm Terror incident? Wasn't that the Abyss Order? They're at it again? Indeed. They're gathering and wolving them, causing great unrest among the wolves. Isn't this technically the first time we see Rosaria? Because we saw her during the Windbloom Festival, but I think this is technically... I could be wrong. If I'm remembering correctly, this is the first time we see Rosaria. Could it be that the Abyss Order is targeting the spirit of Lupus Boreas? <sighs> As for what purpose, I can't say for certain. Wait, how does she Master know? Jean has already headed off to Wolvendem. I must also begin to make a move myself. Then I will go as well. Master Jean said you should stay at the church and continue your work with the clergy. But you're 
also a member of the clergy. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll go help as well. Right. We'll go give Master Jean a hand. Mm hmm Oh, okay. If the honorary knight will be there, then... But Don't worry, Barbara. Everyone, be careful. May the animal archon protect you all. Thanks, Barbara. Okay, so it seems like the knights are onto it as well. Not the statue, but the abyss order, because obviously the abyss order have been overly active recently. So the knights are already just on their case. We gotta go speak to Dane again. Hopefully he's still just down here. There he is. Hello, Dane. I see. Has the abyss order already launched a new operation? Seems like it. This could very well have something to do with the defiled statue. We should go as well. Okay. But what is the Abyss Order going to Wolven them for anyway? Are they looking to do the same as they did with Devalin? Uh, not again! No, that's not likely. Unlike Osail, who was just suppressed, Andreas died long ago. Today, it is just his spirit that stands guard over Wolvendom. Oh. The Abyss Herald may just be targeting the spirit of Andreas in an attempt to garner some information from one of the Animo Archon's old companions. Okay, go to Wolvendom. So while we're running to Wolvendom, I saw a lot of you guys saying to use my uh, fighting team because apparently there's going to be a lot more fights. So I'm very tempted to switch. Actually, something that I've just realized, I can officially get my first character to the current max ascension. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that. There we go. Oh my God. Spilling blood, but okay. Never have I possessed such power before. For such blessings. I give you thanks. Wow. So they have their own, well, she had a, a, like a voice line for it. That's so cool. Now I know a lot of you guys were saying don't level to level 90, just ascend to 80 and then leave it. But I personally just want to get it to 90. And there we go. We're at level 90 now. So Rosaria is officially our first ever character at max ascension and max level. Oh, that's so awesome. I love that. Okay. So we're going to take care of these guys. Don't underestimate the enemy. Let's take them now. All right, Dane. So you might notice that I have a, a bit of a different team than usual. So I've actually switched Diona for Amber and I've switched Yanfei for Sucrose. <sighs> there sure are a lot of enemies around here. The closer we get to the target, the more enemies there are. Fits the Abyss Order's style. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, right? We should hurry and find Lupus Boreas. Let's do it. I'm not going any further. <laughs> what? Why not? Is it because you're afraid of fluffy animals? <laughs> Maybe. He's like, I'm not going. <laughs> yeah, Paimon, that's probably not it. It has nothing to do with wolves. It's because Boreas was an ancient god, yet he willingly became a servant of the Seven. Hmm. I cannot possibly agree with his actions. I don't desire any interaction with him. Besides... You're the one people like. I'm less likable. You really don't like social interaction. That is a mood. You really despise the seven, huh? There's nothing special about gods anyway. Then why is it? It's just my okay. opinion, but a word of advice. Always be on your guard when around gods. Hmm. You shouldn't place too much trust in them. But at the same time, don't go too far in the opposite direction. Don't go trying to overthrow them or hunt them down. Even if the god in question is your sworn enemy. Hmm. Don't trust them and don't hunt them. That's some awkward advice. Hmm. Does Dane hate the seven or is he protecting them? I think he's like in the middle ground, I guess. What is your opinion on contradictory? <laughs> Lest I repeat the failings of my forebears, I will tell you one final fact. Okay. Huh? What fact? The destruction of the nation of Kanria by the gods is the reason the Abyss Order now seeks to destroy the nations watched over by the Seven. Okay, I kind of assumed. Enough chit chat. We should get back right. to business. So it is confirmed. I will go take care of the remaining Abyss Order members in the area. Try and keep your visit with Boreas brief. Alright. Afterward, let's meet at the entrance to Wolvendom. Sounds good. Uh off he goes. Strange man. I can kind of see where he's coming from. Yeah, that's true. You also keep your guard up against unfamiliar gods. 
At the right of dissension and Liyue, your decision was very similar to what Dane would do. When there's a lack of trust, it's best to just avoid the situation entirely. Hmm. <sighs> Not the easiest situation. Not really, no. Honorary Knight, Paimon. Jane! What are you doing here? Hello. Oh, Master Jane! So glad we found you. Rosaria told us that you came here to fight the Abyss Order, so we came to help. Mm-hmm. Then your help is greatly appreciated. The Abyss Order's sudden offensive is very strange. They have surrounded Wolvendom. I am preparing to send out some knights to fight back. Okay. I just scouted out all of Wolvendom, but I did not see you. We just got here. Rosaria told me that the Abyss Order is going after Boreas. But the Boreas. Boreas. <laughs> what is the connection between them? They just like to cause trouble. Oh, that's... Ah, do they that's really funny. need a reason? The Abyss Order already went after Devalin. It's not too surprising that they would also go after another one of the Animal Archons, buddy. Mm -hmm. hmm. That is true. Regardless, whether the reason behind the present threat is clear or not, I will handle the situation. All right, Jane. Honorary Knight, please go and check if Lupus Boreas is in any danger. This god's spirit. He does not often see people, but I hear that you have met him before. Yeah. Maybe it is best that you are also the one to meet him this time. I'll do it. Okay, be careful. Thank you for your help, honorary knight of Favonius. And thank you for your support, Jean. You're a queen. Alrighty, look for the great wolf king of the north. <gasps> look! Oh! Oh no! We're not gonna have to fight Boreas, are we? Okay, I've switched just in case we have to fight it. You, not welcome here. <laughs> so, the wolf's wretched spirit likes to raise wild pups now. You claim to be a guardian, yet your once sharp claws have clearly dulled since your days of godly glory. If you serve us, we can restore your divine powers you once held in the past. Lies. Lies. Don't listen, Boreas. What the heck is this ceremony? <laughs> he looks like he's in a lot of pain. No. Oh, no. Is this the same thing they did to corrupt a Valen's mind? Wolves never surrender. This can't go on. Don't worry, Razor. I'll stop this. No matter how many times you resist us, your efforts are all in vain. Are we fighting the Abyss Herald or Boreas? The Abyss Herald. Okay. Oh, we did this once already. We can do it again. Come on, Razor. Oh, he's still using the Beyblade strategy. You see, I've come with a different strategy. Let me leave you a verse. Come on, Razor. Oh, let's go, Razor! Oh, what a boy. It's kind of cool, actually, that I picked Razor, and Razor's actually here. That's it, my boy. Get him! Nice one. Oh, dear. Razor's almost dead. All right, Razor. Oh! All right, that's enough of that. All right, let's heal up. No, Razor! Oh my god, he's got a water shield now. Okay. Oh, this guy's crazy. Beyblade's incoming. <laughs> oh, that's so fun, though. I wish I had a, an ability like that. Go crazy! Oh my god! My man's going crazy. Oh, that's cool. He opens up, like, portals and shoots, like, his ability through all the portals. That's fun. Come on, Razor. The shield's almost gone. Come on. Have we got him? Yeah, that's it. You get down. Well done, Razor. The ceremony was interrupted. How fortunate for Oh, he's you. free. How does an old spirit have such determined will? He's a wolf. He's got instinct. No matter. This is but a small unforeseen variable. Our grand scheme will not be affected. Mm-hmm. Oh, there he goes. It disappeared again. 
Are you okay, Boreas? At least we stopped it this time. Thank you. You came. Just in time. Razor, that was all you, my dude. Human Lupercal. I am ashamed that you must see me in my present state. Oh, Boreas, it's all right. But still, the Abyss Herald underestimated my strength. <laughs> Lupus Boreas never refuses trial, but scary outsider not respect trial rules. He's cheating. I too didn't see the trap. It's all right, Razor. Don't worry. Wait. So you mean the Abyss Order had everything prepared to corrupt Lupus Boreas's mind, then lured him out under the pretense of challenging him in a trial? Yeah, it's not your fault, Razor. Thank you. In the future, my claws must get sharper. Okay. You smell danger and came here? Yes, sure. No, we oh, okay. Heard about the danger. Paimon's nose doesn't even know what danger smells like. <laughs> Besides coming to help, we actually have something to ask you about, too. Uh, excuse us, Mr. Wolf God. Do you know anything about the first field tiller? I pay no heed to the contraptions of humans. He's so cool, man. I know not what this field tiller is. Oh. Though there was indeed one human made machine that I can never forget. Hmm. Okay. It entered into my proving ground by accident, and I mistook it for a challenger. Did you destroy it? But it could not think, only fight. It was designed as a pure killing machine from top to bottom. Hmm. I eventually damaged it greatly with one of my attacks. Before it fell to the ground, it fled the proving ground. Hmm. Hmm. By the sounds of it, it's possible that could have been the very first field tiller, right? It could have been the first or the 50,000th. We don't know, Paimon. <laughs> could it spin? Yes. It could spin, leap high into the air, yeah. and even shoot fireballs. Could be missiles. Although no match for a god, it was stronger than even many who wield visions. Oh. Fireballs? Yeah. Hey, didn't we hear this somewhere else recently as well? Hmm. Anyway, this pretty much proves that the first field tiller came to Mondstadt, doesn't it? If they're linked, Sounds sure. like the first one was way stronger than the mass-produced ruin guards that came after. Mm -hmm. But in this story, it was damaged at the proving ground while fighting the Wolf of the North. Don't know, but did we help? <laughs> yes, you were a big help. Thanks. Yes, you were, Razor. We need to keep investigating something super important. The Abyss Herald may have left, but the Abyss's forces are still attacking. You two be careful. Yes, I smell more danger. Bigger danger. We've got this razor, you don't worry. Also, be careful. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, let's do it. Oh, he's by the statue. Hello, Dane. Or the waypoint, not the statue. Dane, there you are. Did you see Master Jean? I saw her, but purposely avoided her. Hmm. As both the Lion Fang Knight and acting Grand Master. She naturally would Lion have some Fang reservations Knight. towards me. If I'm not careful, one day I may find myself becoming the object of one of her investigations. Hmm. But back to the matter at hand. I defeated some of the Abyss forces, but wasn't able to gather any information. Did you have more success? The Traveler tells Dane what they learned from the spirit of Lupus Boreas. I see. Well then. Or Boris. <laughs> more or less figure out where the first field tiller ended up. Really? Just from the Lupus Boreas story? Yeah. That information combined with a more comprehensive analysis. Okay. For example, the old story you told me you heard in the cathedral. The Tyrant's Final Fury. Exactly. The strange story told to you by that young sister. 
Long mistaken to be a curse rained down by a deceased tyrant. The fireballs raining from the sky were probably missiles. Yeah, I feel like that's probably what it is because that's what um, Boreas said. He probably didn't know what a missile was, so he just assumed they were fireballs. Ah, Paimon gets it. So the tyrant's final fury was really just missiles fired from the field tiller after it ran from Wolvendom. After it was okay. damaged in the fight with the wolf of the north, it must have wandered into the ruins of old Mondstadt and stayed there. Mm. Then, whenever anyone got close, pew, pew, boom, <gasps> it would fire a ton of missiles at them. Until one day, it finally broke down for good, and the fireball stopped. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Back then, the people of Mondstadt hadn't seen many ruin guards before. So they came to interpret it as the tyrant's final fury. Right. It looks like we need to make a trip to Storm Terror's lair and comb the entire area. No need? Hmm. What do you mean? I I remember. Huh? You mean Oh, Paima remembers too! We saw that abandoned ruin guard sitting atop the tower when we went there before. Can't forget something like that. Forgive me if my memory's foggy, but I don't know what they're talking about. All right, we're gonna go to where Storm Terror's lair is at the very top. This one? This one looks like a normal ruin guard, though. I mean, I remember this one, yeah, but I thought, I, I thought they would have been talking about a bigger one. This is it, right? <sighs> okay then. Use your elemental sight to look for the eye. Okay. Ooh, so what did you see? Nothing. Huh? Nothing? Oh, but Paimon was so excited. Uh, what's going on? Are you sure you did it right? <laughs> this requires another method. There's only one way to do that, Using Paimon. <laughs> elemental sight on a field tiller is of no use because it is not powered by the elements. Yeah. Let me give it a try. Okay. Dane's a wizard. And done. Wow. What? It's, it's a... The very thing the Abyss Herald has been seeking all along. The eye of the first field tiller. Whoa. All of the ruin guards today are just replicas of this machine. As the prototype, its combat capability was unrestricted. Prototype? Oh, Paimon doesn't know that word. <laughs> Is it another ancient term from Conria? As the Abyss Order has surmised, if this eye is placed in the hands of the defiled statue, and if the limbs of Osile, overlord of the Vortex, are attached to the statue, there you have a mechanized god. Yikes. And this newly born god will have the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. The Abyss Order must be stopped. Yes. Then, what should we do with this eye? Hide it somewhere, no one will find it. Put it under the guardianship of the Church of Favonius. I was going to say destroy it, but he's probably not going to like us putting it under the guardianship of the church. But I'm going to say that anyway. No. No. I'll guard it myself. Huh? huh? You? Uh, Dane? Mm, you won't go and do anything crazy with it, will you? You may doubt me if you wish, but I must ensure it does not fall into the wrong hands. No matter where we may hide it, they will find it. And as for the Church of Favonius, well, you know I don't trust them. Yeah, well... Oh, <laughs> right. Uh. But our work isn't done yet. To avoid any further repercussions, we must also take care of that defiled statue. Yeah, how? By doing what exactly? We can't have the Church get involved. Let's handle it ourselves. As for what I mean by take care of it, naturally I mean to completely destroy it. Okay. Uh, destroy it? That's a statue of the seven! As well as being a really important cultural relic, they're actually divine too! Oh, well, good thing we didn't tell Barbara earlier. Otherwise she'd be going completely bonkers right now. Mm. Do the Seven really expect me to help them look after what belongs to them? Let's go back to those ruins and destroy the inverted statue. If we are lucky, we will also run into that Abyss Herald. Okay. I'll make sure it doesn't get away this time. 
Oh, aye, aye, aye. Okay, go to the ruins again. We can go there. Alrighty, we're back. Let's go back inside. So after all that running around, we end up right back here again. Look at us. We barely hmm. escaped this place last time, and now we're strolling right back in. But we're going the Gee, other way? Surely we must be some of the bravest adventurers in all of Tavat. That are the stupidest. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> get to that creepy statue. We just need to follow the path we used to escape oh, last time. Jesus. That should take us right to it. Yep, that'll work. Let's go. And remember to be on your guard. What is this? All right, Bennett. You did this one last time, but backwards. Now you got to do it this way. Let's go. Oh, my word. Oh, no. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Okay. All right. I saw the chest on the left side and got uh, a bit distracted. So we're going to go. I think if we just follow one of the walls, we should be all right. Let's land over here and get this. Bennett. Well done, my boy. Good job. Looks like we're here. An eerie, lifeless, dark chamber. Yeah, I hope you didn't bring I the eye with you. the evil aura you were describing earlier. Please. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald. It's here. <laughs> you sense correctly. Hello. You are just as vexatious as ever, Dane's Lift, enemy of the Abyss. Hmm. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed. Perhaps from your darkest nightmares. Unless... <clears throat> oh, and something far more dangerous. You reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. Hmm. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you. Do it, Dane. Oh, again? Okay, well, let's do this again. Come on, Sucrose. Oh dear. Okay, we got we got mages and all sorts going on. Oh, Sucrose, come on. Oh, what a queen. Here we go. Ow. All right, there we go. Okay, we're taking care of these guys very nicely, actually. Okay, he's got his shield back again. You realize that shield didn't work for you last time? Go crazy! Ah, 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 a little bit. Ow. <laughs> I froze him in his animation. That's so fun. All right, we've almost got him. Sucrose, nice job. Go on, Traveler. What is that? Not this time. Come on, Dane. Don't let him get away. <gasps> is that... Nice sword. Is that... It is! Princess. Hey! C could that be? Paimon, yes. Very much yes. Lumine! Ether. I finally found you. Oh, wait! She just blocked an attack against the Abyss Herald! Your sister and the Abyss? Uh huh. Why are you with Dane? What? Why are you asking about that? Wait, what? <laughs> We've been separated for so long. Why are you asking me something that doesn't matter? We've been separated for so long. Your sister knows Dane? <laughs> the 
Lumine. We meet again. Uh, what's going on here? Dane knows her too? Mm hmm. You shouldn't team up with this man. Uh, he is my enemy. Who? Uh, Lumine. Uh, <laughs> looks so angry. Hold on a second. But it must be said. Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the Abyss. That man, Dainsleth, was the Twilight Sword, one of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. 500 years ago, he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. A curse of immortality was laid upon him to forever wander the wilderness while he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into monsters of the Abyss. You're saying Dane is from Conria? The same Conria that was destroyed 500 years ago? That would make sense. You said the people turned into monsters? You're trying to tell Paimon that the Abyss Order is not only related to Conria, but is actually the people of Conria themselves? That is a truth bomb. Well, and the whole thing about Dane being your enemy... Oh, Paimon's so confused. Okay, no, Paimon, you, you've, you, you being confused has just stopped me being confused. So, the Abyss Order... The mages, the heralds, they are all citizens of Conria before it was destroyed. And then they got some sort of, I don't know, I guess curse that turned them all into these evil monsters. Evil monsters. Which Lumine witnessed, which we saw in that trailer. I guess she was witnessing that. I guess it looked like the unknown god, it may not have been, destroyed Conria. And Lumine saw the whole thing. And Dane was one of the, like, protectors. Come with me, Lumine, let's go home. Home. Yes. Of course. Home is wherever we are together. But I cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home. At least, not yet. Huh? Until the Abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with destiny will see no end. Destiny? Listen to me, Aether. I have already traveled through this world once. Once you reach the end of your journey as I did, you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. Oh god, what a predicament. Though we need not rush, brother. I have more than enough time to wait for you. Oh, this is heartbreaking. No! We have always had enough time. Oh my god. No! Oh man, I empathize with Aether so hard. Oh, Paimon. <laughs> oh, I need a second, man. That's so sad. There is hope. Uh-huh. That's right. At least now, as well as the Seven, Dane is also a key part of finding your sibling too, right? Once we get to Inazuma, we should keep that in mind as we look for more clues. That's right. Um, by the way, what they said just now is all pretty confusing. Did you understand it at all? Yeah, I got it. It again. The Traveler and Paimon try to recall as many details as they can. First off, that Abyss Herald called your sister Princess. Yes. It seems like your sister is leading the Abyss Order. Even the Abyss Herald answers to her. Still, we don't know for sure if she's the highest ranking leader in the organization. We don't, but we can also, assume. your sister said that she wants to engulf the thrones and go to war with destiny. What the heck does that mean? Yeah. Could it be that she wants to destroy the Seven and the Seven Nations? It sounds like... Next thing, yeah. turns out the Abyss Order monsters are really what the people of Conria turned into after their nation was destroyed. This story is just plain terrifying. Mm -hmm. And Dave is from Conria too. Yep. He witnessed its destruction 500 years ago. But he didn't turn into a monster. And now he's fighting the Abyss Order. So that's why your sister said that Dane is her enemy, right? But 
If the monsters of the abyss are the same people that Dane protected all those years ago, yeah. then why is he enemies with the abyss order now? Yeah, there's still a lot of gaps. Also, how come after all this time we spent searching for your sister, it turns out she's on the side of the abyss? What's up with that? Okay, Paimon, yeah, that's, uh, it's a lot of information and a, there's still a lot of questions. It doesn't give me a good enough reason that Dane would be hated by Lumine just because he failed to protect them. Because it feels like, if anything, Lumine is a bit on the, on the bad side. If that is her only reason to hate Dane, Dane must have done something to either betray them, which is why he didn't turn into an Abyss Herald, Herald or... Or he, he got a different curse. Like, he got cursed with immortality. So he would never die. He will just continuously live with what he has done. Which, as far as we know, is fail to protect them. But if the Heralds were also protecting them before they turned into what they are now, why did Dane get different treatment? I guess because he was a higher rank or something? There, there has to be more to why Lumine doesn't like Dane. Yeah, we have many new questions and very few answers. Yeah, you're right. Then we can't let ourselves get down about it now. Our journey's not over yet. Let's get a move on. Time to leave this terrible dark place and get back to the surface where the sun shines bright. Yeah, what do we do about the statue? If your sister wants you to reach the end of your journey, well then, show her what you're made of. Come on, traveler. Let's go. <sighs> wow. So we've done it. There it is. Why is Paimon encouraging us to go against our sister, though? That's that's something. That's a bit suspicious. Man, I've got so many questions. So many. I'm so intrigued as to what's coming next, though. Obviously, Inazuma's coming very, very, very soon. So we will continue this journey very, very soon. Okay, so now it wants us to take in the view outside Liwa Harbor to collect your thoughts. You share your feelings with Paimon before embarking on the next phase of your journey. So let's go there and see what it tells us. But man, in that final cutscene there, like, I really, like, I genuinely, like, the game has done such a good job at, like, gripping me. And I, I, won't, I won't lie, I definitely got emotional there. Like, I felt myself really feeling for Aether because if you just think about it, like, all he's remembered is, is what happened to his sister. And even that isn't a clear memory. So the fact that this is the first time he's got to see her since... He's been trying so hard to find her. Like, you can imagine, like, the thoughts that go through his head, how she brushes it off as it's nothing and doesn't explain anything and everything that he knew is now backwards because... Um, are you okay? I would never imagined your sister would have sided with the Abyss. I'm feeling a bit better. Well, keep your chin up. Paimon believes in both of you. And when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Right? There's definitely more to this. Yeah, there's, there must be more to this than meets the eye. She said we needed to reach the end of our journey. Paimon bets she still has lots more to tell us. Mm -hmm. And we won't find out what this journey is or where it will end unless we keep going. That's true. That's very, very true. Thank you, Paimon. Aw, uh, don't mention it, partner. Travel buddies are supposed Look out for one another. Mm. Although, where should we go next? If we want to continue with the journey... Hmm. I still need to find that god. Oh, you mean the god that took your sister away in the first place? Mm -hmm. You're right. After all, everything that followed, all this confusion, it all started with her. Yeah. I need answers from her. Yeah. Paimon bets she's the key to understanding this whole mystery. Mm-hmm. Well, we've ruled out two gods so far. The Animo and Geo Archons. So, next... Let's go to Inazuma. Let's find the Electro Archon. Let's go to Inazuma. Hmm. Paimon doesn't think we can simply walk into Inazuma. Zhang Li said it was a closed nation. Mm -hmm. We'll have to find some other way in. Yeah. <gasps> Why don't we ask someone from Inazuma how to gain entrance? That's a good idea. Let me try and think of someone. I'm sure there's someone we've met. Yeah, isn't there someone in Liowa from Inazuma? Let me try and think of someone. Oh, Paimon spotted someone already. Atsuko, in Liowa. There, there we go. She's from Inazuma. Let's see what she has to say. Alrighty. Okay. Ask Atsuko 
How to travel to Inazuma. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, uh, I mean, good fortune, right? <sighs> I'm still learning to talk like a local. Oh. Is there anything I can help you with? We wanted to ask, how do we get into Inazuma? Mm hmm Oh. So that's why you're here. Well, there is a way. Okay. Great! We came to the right person! Yes! But the chance of success is incredibly small. It's a chance nonetheless! Yeah. Incredibly small? Then how did you get out of Inazuma in the first place? It was in leaving Inazuma that I found out just how dangerous this method truly was. Oh. <laughs> All I had to rely on was a little wooden raft that I'd put together myself. There was a storm raging ahead of me, and my pursuers were close on my tail. Your pursuers? After I'd escaped their clutches, I floated on the open ocean for, I don't know, how many days. My rations and fresh water supplies soon ran out, and I remember getting to the point where I was sure I'd reached the end. Then, I blacked out. Oh. But, to my surprise, my journey didn't end there. Or to put it another way, a new beginning found me. Oh, did someone from Leo save you? Ah, that's right. I escaped by the skin of my teeth. The fact that I'm even alive to tell the tale must be a sign that the gods were watching over me. Oh. What a horrible journey! And you set off knowing how dangerous it was? Why? Well, because everything is just too restrictive over there. The atmosphere is so stifling. The Kanjo Commission subjects everyone leaving or entering the nation to a protracted approval process, and I felt like I didn't belong there. Mm. Kanjo Commission? What's that? Along with the other two commissions, they oversee everything in Inazuma. We usually collectively refer to them as the Tri Commission. I suppose they're equivalent to the eight trades under the Liyue Chising. Ah, okay. One of the obligations of the Kanjo Commission is to conduct rigorous identity checks on all individuals leaving or entering in Azuma. All non-nationals are processed centrally on Rito upon arrival. Okay. Meanwhile, the Tenryo Commission is responsible for implementing the recently promulgated Vision Hunt Decree. They act like the executive arm of the Raiden Shogun's rule. Loyal, yet unfeeling. Right. It doesn't feel good to speak ill of my home like this. But after spending so long under that oppressive atmosphere, I begin to lose all hope for the future. Aww. <laughs> what I mean to say is, unless you have an extremely compelling reason to go to Inazuma, you should abandon your plans of trying to get there. I have a compelling reason. <sighs> you should know that the sea around Inazuma is engulfed in a perpetual tempest of wind and rain. Supposing you survived that, you would still need to get past the samurai guards that enforce the Sakoku Decree. That's awesome. The closed nation policy of Inazuma. That's really cool. And even if you did manage to find a way, you'd still have to produce the necessary documentation at the Rito Center for processing outlanders. Otherwise, you'd be kicked out immediately. Hmm. Seems like they really don't want anyone setting foot in Inazuma, huh? But there are places for outlanders to go, right? They only set that up as a port to guarantee a supply of goods and information to the island. Most outlanders would be unable to acquire the documentation needed. Hmm. But if you really are set on going, there is one thing you could try. Okay. Uh, the raft idea sounds a little on the dangerous side. <laughs> Plus, Paimon would definitely get seasick. That's not what I meant. You could ask someone from the Crux fleet if they have some way of getting you to Inazuma. The Crux They're well known in Liyue. Voyaging far and wide has made them a well-traveled group with a wide range of experiences. They may just know how Isn't to break through the storm. Isn't that Beidos? But it's an armed fleet, right? Why would they agree to a request like this? That part is up to you. If you're able to persuade their captain, Beido... It is Beido! ...will be out of the way. Let's give it a try. The Alcor is the flagship of the Crux fleet. I heard that it's currently anchored by Guyunstone Forest on a supply run. This might be your best chance. Okay. And there's no time to lose. Let's go find Captain Beto. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Oh, I wonder if this is in the game yet, though. Okay, go to the Alcor to meet Beto. Okay. I wonder. There must be a cutoff point, but we'll see. So I have seen this recently, actually, on the streams. Look at that. 
That is an impressive ship. This is so cool though. I absolutely love this. Oh wow, okay, let's land on the very deck of the ship. There we go. You arrive on board the ship. You're the traveler. What are you doing here? I'm looking for Beto. Looking for the captain? Does she look like she's someone you can just come looking for as you please? Oi, someone get over here. Tie this stowaway up and feed him to the fishies. All right, all right. What's all the ruckus? This troublemaker snuck in here, said they're looking for, well, they're up to no good, I'll wager. And I thought I would just deal with this for Beto. All right, stop scaring people any old how, or Captain Beto will scold you upside down. Uh, I... All right, off you go. Cool your head. Now then, traveler, what business may you have with the captain? I'd like to go to Inazuma. You want to go to Inazuma? By ship? Hmm, you best see the captain herself about this. She's on board right now. But it seems like she's deep in thought recently. Keep your eyes open and try not to disturb her. I've got it. Huh, we've also been anchored here for quite a while. Been anchored here for quite a while due to her orders, which has led to quite a few delays. If you're willing, why don't you go around the ship and see who needs help? Oh, okay. Whoa! Oh my word, there's a lot of people. Okay. Huh, when will we finally be able to get into the city? Need help with anything? Ah, it's you. So you really are going around the ship helping people. Well, I've got a job for you. We just pulled ashore, so we haven't had time to restock on food. Out in the open sea for so long, eating dried meat every day, it eats away one's heart. It's not every day we're near the port. We best get some fresh food. If you're fine with it, it'd be great if you could bring us some fowl or raw meat. Allow me. So eager. Okay, I'll leave it to you then. We want to eat something different now that we've had the chance. I'll leave it to you then. Remember, fowl or meat. Did you bring the meat back? Aye, aye. There you go, have some meat. We can make steak out of this. Perfect to pair with the drink. Amazing. <gasps> it's Beto and Kazua. Wait. Hmm. Who have we got here? Wait, I know you. You're that traveler, aren't you? The one who fought against the Fatui and Osile, right? Yeah, wait. <laughs> Ningguang told me about you. A traveler of great insight and remarkable skill has saved Liyue, she said. Wow! She's a hard one to please, so praise from her is high praise indeed. I remember thinking at the time that it'd be good to meet you in person. <laughs> Judging by the clothes on your back and this floating thing, <laughs> I guess that time has come. Mm-hmm. Paimon? Hmm. What a fascinating being. You two give off not only the essence of wind and earth, but also of... Yes. The stars. Wow. Uh, the fragrance of what now? That's the weirdest compliment Paimon's ever heard. <laughs> Pay it no heed. I mean only to say I am certain that it is by fate, not chance alone, that we should meet. And that gives our encounter meaning. Is this guy a bard by any chance? You're not far off, but they go by a different name in Inazuma. Oh, really? This young man is Kaidahara Kazuha, a temporary Kazuha. addition to my crew for reasons I won't bore you with. Occasionally, he opens his mouth and flowers come out instead of words. <laughs> with this fine ship and the soft sea breeze, would it not be romantically irresponsible of me not to acknowledge it with a line or two of poetry? Beautiful. <laughs> no, I can't argue with that. Okay, then. Once the clash is underway, I'll give you a chance to perform. Amazing. Only if the mood takes me, of course. Poetry for poetry's sake tends to lack meaning. Mm -hmm. Hey, you don't want to pass this opportunity up too easily. Especially seeing as our great hero here might be in attendance. Oh, wait a minute. What's the clash? Uh, also, just to clarify, by great hero... Do you mean? Huh? I thought you might be here to sign up. You're telling me you've never even heard of it? The Crux Clash is a martial arts tournament that I hold. There'll be a whole bunch of folks taking part to showcase their talents. Whoa! There are two important rules. One, competitors must be renowned fighters. We want those with real martial arts ability, not just people taking part for the fun of it. So, you've got nothing to worry about there? I don't think there's anyone out there who hasn't heard of you. Uh -huh. Two, you can't take part if you've got a vision. Oh. Otherwise, things get a little one-sided. That is true. I don't have a vision, but... <laughs> you must be feeling confident, but you might want to watch out. There are a few crouching tigers and hidden dragons lurking around in Liyue. And with Liyue's savior taking part in the tournament, now that's going to turn a few heads. I think we can expect a healthy turnout this time. But... Come here to take part in a martial arts tournament. Yeah. 
Well, before you dismiss the idea completely, you might be interested to hear that the prize this time round is particularly sought after. A trip Get to Inazuma? This. It's a masterless vision. Wait, what? Applied by myself, as a matter of fact. If the tournament champion can reawaken that vision, it belongs to them. Is there really such thing Whoa. as a masterless vision? Oh, that's so interesting. Why doesn't it have a master? When a vision bearer dies, the light in their vision will fade away. But the shell that housed that light remains. As for whether this shell has any practical application, well, this remains to be seen. But my intuition tells me that while it remains in the world, it may just be possible for someone else to inherit it. Whoa, yep. okay. And the way I see it, a vision is a badge of recognition from the gods. Mm -hmm. So if anyone's able to rekindle it, it's got to be an individual of exceptional strength and talent. Right. Uh, organizing the clash is my way of uncovering hidden talents. And hopefully this time, getting a vision to glow again. Interesting. So if you don't have a vision, this is the perfect opportunity to get your hands on one of your very own. A vision is no use to me. Yeah, we're interested in getting to Inazuma, not fighting in some tournament. Inazuma? You want to go there? Yes. Well, why didn't you say so? Inazuma, no sweat. Oh. In that case, if you win the tournament, I'll give you a choice. Masterless vision or a ticket to Inazuma aboard the Alcor. You just want him to take part in <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? The more talent we have, the better the tournament will be. I couldn't let a competitor like you fall through the net. What are we gonna do? <sighs> Looks like we pretty much have to do this tournament if we want to get to Inazuma, huh? Let's give this a shot. <laughs> Great. Then let's get you signed up. Head to the tournament arena in Guyun Stone Forest. Kazuha and I will be over soon. Amazing. It seems like it will only be a matter of time before the answer is revealed. Go to the tournament arena? Wow, these guys are actually here. This is incredible. Before we sign up, let's see who the other competitors are. Oh, okay. Let's they do that. said that they had to be renowned fighters. Look at this. Who will we be up against? Uncle Yun? Hello. Are you here to compete in the Crux Clash? You bet I am. Have you put your names down yet? Yeah, what a unit! We just want to take a look around first. Well, I'd have a look at the entrance criteria if I were you. Then it'll allow just anyone to take part. Mm -hmm. The Clash is a comprehensive test of fighting ability. Anyone who turns up for show over skill is gonna get their butt handed to them. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to see that, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, we heard a rule about that. So, Paimon's wondering, are you a renowned fighter? <laughs> Me? Only a former runner-up in the Tsuhu Rock Freestyle Combat Summit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Also, that doesn't sound like the most official tournament out there. <laughs> what? You... Nonsense. Have you been living under a rock? It's been going on for years. There were plenty of competitors when I took part. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, I've helped the Millilith catch treasure hoarders before. There were two of them trying to escape. I soon sorted them out. Well done. They tried to sneak past me under the cover of darkness. <laughs> they didn't know what hit them. I planted a left hook on the skinnier one's face and sent him flying. Then the big guy pulled out a knife. Uh. I stood my ground, of course. A roundhouse kick sent the blade hurtling into a beam above us. Sounds impressive. <laughs> I told you. Unarmed, outnumbered two to one, face. but I still got the upper hand. <laughs> I'm not saying I came out completely unscathed, of course. But the fact remains that I did manage to subdue the both of them and hand them over to the Millilith. I received quite the commendation. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. <laughs> for us, even four or five treasure hoarders at a time is all in a day's work. Yeah. Thanks for letting us know. Mm-hmm. All right. We're going to keep looking around. I'll see you in the arena. But I don't plan on losing to a pair of children anytime soon. Well, it might be sooner rather than later. See ya. <laughs> Are you here for the Crux Clash too? That's right. Nothing beats real life combat for honing your skills. Mm -hmm. That's what our master taught us. Nice. But this tournament is more than just a chance to put training into practice. It's also a chance for us to obtain the masterless vision. Exactly. With a vision, we'd quickly become our master's top students. This master of yours must be pretty incredible, huh? Are they someone famous? Famous? He's the founder of the Ling Shan clan. 
and his skills are unparalleled. Liang and I are both proud disciples of his. Amazing. The Ling Shang clan? You probably wouldn't have heard of it. It was founded quite recently. The clan is nowhere near as famous as the master himself anyway. Okay. He's got to be a grand master or something. He's created many different styles of kung fu, and countless other clans have borrowed extensively from him. To the Ling Shan clan, he teaches a special technique known as force dispersal. Force dispersal? Hmm. It's a type of breathing exercise where you can train yourself to harness the energy around you and neutralize attacks without moving an inch. So you just for example, our master get punched over and over again. the path of an attacking fist or change the direction of an incoming stone. All without breaking a sweat. Hmm. One time, he sent a challenger flying into the air without lifting a finger. Is that really possible? It sure is. But it's extremely difficult to cultivate this ability. We've been training for ages and we're still getting to grips with the very basics. There's no way we could use it proficiently yet. Hmm. <sighs> we're clearly not that naturally gifted, or we would have at least gotten the gist by now. If we don't start making progress soon... We'll probably run out of money to pay the tuition fees and still have nothing to show for all our training. There's a tuition fee? Of course. This is a grand master we're talking about here. He doesn't have time to waste. If you want face-to-face -face training, you've got to show you're sincere about it. Hmm. <sighs> but here we are, having trained under him directly all this time without even a hint of improvement. Master is getting increasingly impatient with us. Recently, though... We heard that a vision bearer joined the Guhua clan and made pretty much instant progress in their training. Yeah, it sounds like animo. So, if we can get abilities. our hands on a vision too, maybe we can finally make our master proud. A vision won't make you better at martial arts. There may be other reasons why you can't seem to master this technique. Yeah, it sounds like a scam. <laughs> well, we have to try something new. Otherwise, we're stuck in the same situation. Hmm. Exactly. It can't hurt to try. And if it turns out it does work, the Ling Shan clan will go down in history. Folks will come from far and wide. Heck, we could even become the dominant martial arts clan in all of Liyue. Well, that's the spirit. See you in the arena. All right, see you there. Hey, youngster. Are you here for the Crux Clash too? Oh, God. If so, seems I found myself another new adversary. So you're also here for the tournament? You better believe it. Huh, I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I could walk away as a champion. Mm -hmm. For me... Obtaining a vision is the final and most important piece in the puzzle that is my life. Okay, I feel like, okay, do you want to become an adventurer? No, no, no. It's not about what I want to do. This is about who I want to be. I am looking to become a perfect person. Okay. I know how that sounds, but let me explain. I've lived a successful life so far without any setbacks. Hmm. I've passed every exam I've ever taken, enjoyed numerous successful business ventures, and seem to get on with just about everyone socially. Okay. In most people's eyes, I am already the very embodiment of the perfect person. Though, of course, <laughs> I'd never let the praise get to my head. I know I haven't reached perfection yet. Because there's one thing I'm still missing. A vision. A vision, yeah. You have so much self-confidence. Yeah, are you a renowned fighter? That's not important. I have a contact in the Crux fleet who was happy to vouch for me. So, they very kindly made special arrangements on my behalf. Okay. I've also brought along a bit of an entourage for moral support. It's such a blessing, really, to have so many good friends in my neighborhood. Mm hmm Of course, I also put in a few good days' practice. A few. Concentrating mostly on rare and esoteric styles of Kung Fu. As a high achiever by nature, I'm confident I've done enough to guarantee my victory in this tournament. I'm sure you have. <laughs> Don't be so sure. Ha, you don't mince your words, do you? Ah, the arena will be the judge. Mm -hmm. Now then, if you don't mind, I need to finish my pre-competition routine. It's not too long now before you'll get to see me in action. Can't wait. So, to recap, we're up against an inflated ego, some gullible guys paying way too much for their kung fu classes, and another guy who's just... Really average. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Seems like you've got a pretty good chance of winning this thing. Yeah, I think so. I Come mean, on, let's go sign up. All right, let's do it. I think it's kind of unfair if we use elements, but sure. Chinks a village arm wrestling champion, huh? All right, you're signed up. Arm wrestling? 
Next, please. What's your name? Uh, I'm Abraxos. Wait, uh, aren't you? Oh, did I hear that right? Is it really them? Uh, huh? Aren't they a vision bearer, though? Why are they trying to enter the clash? Uh, I, I have to ask. Aren't you the traveler that helped Leoe fight off that ancient god? That is correct. Oh, it's really him! The one that spoke with Lady Kuching at the Rite of Parting. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I wonder if I can get his autograph later. <laughs> Five months' face. I trust you are aware that uh, only those without visions can enter the tournament. I don't have a vision. Really? But, but from what I've heard, the things you're capable of in combat are nothing short of extraordinary. You walk into the most dangerous situations imaginable, face off against all sorts of monsters, uh, even the Fatui, and always come out on top. So far. Yep. He still doesn't have a vision, though. See for yourself. Mm hmm uh, My apologies. I didn't mean to be rude. I'm sure a great hero like yourself would have no reason to lie. Now, could I ask you to provide a few claims to fame? Uh, it's just a formality for you, of course, but I have to make a record of competitors' achievements as part of the sign-up process. Uh, sure. So far, I've got defeated the ancient god Osail, so that's one. Do you have any others? Is that not enough? <laughs> I'm an honorary knight of Favonius. Yeah! Also, don't forget to mention that the previous battles include, but are not limited to, Storm Terror, Devalin, and Fatui Harbinger Child. Whoa. <laughs> Might as well declare him the champion already. Yeah. I wonder if it's too late to withdraw. Oh, no. Okay, um, that's plenty. Actually, this is the most dazzling track record I've ever seen. By a long shot. <laughs> right, your registration is complete. Now, a brief word about the prize. Okay. A great hero such as yourself can surely only be here for one thing. To win the tournament and claim the grand prize, namely, a vision. That's cute. Oh, we're not here for that. We're here because Captain Beto promised to take us to Inazuma if we win the tournament. Yeah. There's another prize too. Oh my God, oh, Paimon. I've heard of it. Beto must have upped the stakes this time to attract top talent. But why would anyone want to go somewhere as dangerous as Inazuma? I see. So. I take it you discussed your terms with Beto in advance. Then. Yes. I'm just not that interested in visions, that's all. Well, I'm sure a great hero has an important reason for being here. Anyway, the qualifying rounds are about to begin. I'll leave you to your preparation. Okay. Hey, so Paimon's thinking about that whole no vision bearers rule in this tournament. Mm -hmm. Even though you don't have a vision, most people in Tavat think that you can't manipulate the elements without one. Yeah. So Paimon thinks you probably shouldn't use your elemental abilities during the tournament. You know, just to avoid any mistakes. Yeah, that was that was what I was thinking. In any case, looking at the competition, it should still be pretty easy for you to win, even without using any elements, right? Makes sense. All right, it's showtime. You got this. Thanks, Paimon. You seem like you're raring to go. Are you ready to compete? But before we do any of that, I need to end it for today, guys. I'm so sorry to leave it on a cliffhanger yet again, but we have seen a lot in this video and my brain is still trying to figure out what is going on and just what is coming up next. I am super excited for it. Now, do let me know where is the cutoff point? Now, is this going to be the last bit we do before the update until it stops us from doing anything? If we do get to do this, do let me know in the comments if I should bring anything, Is there if there's anything I should prepare for it. But as always, do avoid spoilers. But there we are, guys. As I said, we'll leave it there for today. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. This story is getting so insanely awesome, and I can't wait to see where it goes next. I think I share this with all of you guys when I say this. I am super excited for Inazuma. It's coming so, so, so soon, and I cannot wait to see it. Just before we leave off, I want to give a massive thank you to the members who are... Captain Jace, Bushy Potato, Lu O, Belzen, Hallen Nix, Velzard, Huang Li, Christine Pearl Labena, D. Chris Wong, Dreamer Zeke, Nikoma, Vicky F. Simmons, Loon Arcadia, Sugoi Bakadesu, Nyanzian, Ono, Kuro, Fredrickson the 96th, Manny K, Leah 752, Veni, Tulni, 
and a massive thank you to our full-on wizard member who is Sparky007. Thank you guys so much. And a massive thank you to you for watching. I appreciate you as always. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope to see you this Sunday for the stream. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.